Where is my dog? Aren't you standing right next to him? This bitch? Please. I miss this place. Huh, little cheddar's askew. Well, they made yourself at home, didn't you, Jeffers? Diaz, congratulations on moving on to the second round, said I, sarcastically. No photos of lunch. Earth because vampires don't appear on film. Perhaps we should be looking for a 17th century woodblock print. The only thing you won last heist was a lifetime of mediocre heterosexual intercourse with Jake. <gasps> this fanboy stuff is a little much. The only thing that's a little much around here are your scrawled-on eyebrows. Yeesh. So this is clearly Zumaski, and that's a good thing. You can finally say goodbye to your nemesis. Thanks, Sergeant. That's a nice thought for an idiot to have. I'm the right director to bring your vision of Maxwell Blaze to life. What does that even mean? It means you blew it. Walk away, Jeffords. Walk away. Come in, Diaz. How'd you know it was me? The restrained knock. Everyone else in his office plays my door like it's a marimba. The other day, Jeffords gave it three taps and two raps. Is he drunk? One can only assume. Mm. Microsoft Word is not a special skill, Marcy Lux from South Orange. You would take the loser's side, Jeffords, you bitch. Trash talk. OK, I don't like this. I'm going to go. Ooh, fun. Terry's playing the flute. At work. Who are you? William Wonka? I hate to think of all the great cartoons humanity missed out on because Einstein was just too busy reinventing physics. OK, I'll cancel the class. I mean, who needs relativity when we could have had Einstein's take on lasagna eating cats? I said I'd cancel. Did he hate Mondays? We'll never know. OK, I'm going. I'm going. Maybe you just shouldn't participate. So this really isn't about helping out Sergeant Jeffords? What? Well, I guess I'm out. No, 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 come on. Of course, I'm 100% in support of Terry. In fact, I'm going to team up with him. <laughs> Let's do this. You are so easily manipulated. Now you're stuck with Sergeant Dum Dum. Hey. Oh, clam it, Kevin. Clam it. Well, thank you, Raymond. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. Did I check on your progress? Um, we have a solid lead. Suspicious online behavior from someone using the... Now I know why you refer to this as a suicide squad, Peralta, because I already want to kill myself. Why don't you wait a week? You'll probably die of old age. The only way I'm gonna die is if you touch me with one of your bony fingers and drag me across the river Styx, you reaper. How dare you disobey me? Come on, sir. It was a good tip, and we're trying to catch a serial killer. Well, then, let's see this tip, this groundbreaking tip that threatens to blow the case wide open. Okay, I know this tone. Here comes Petty Holt. Nah, bitch, I'm not being petty. You just said Nah, bitch. Show me the tip. You have a boyish face and a big goofy grin. It's like being yelled at by a children's cereal mascot. Say to the dealer. Well, this has been fun. But I'm sick of playing with whittle, whittle babies. Is there a table for people who wear big boy pants? And what do you hope to get out of this, Madeline? Let me guess. Revenge on Dorothy for killing your sister. Kelly won't tell me anything. He won't even meet with me. Perhaps you can sneak in disguised as an old leather chair. All you have to do is say a few nice comments during the memorial. As God said, when once tried to sneak past the gates into heaven, it ain't happening, honey. <laughs> But there won't be any wine where you're headed, George, unless you make it in a toilet, toilet wine. <laughs> Santiago, I'm on the phone. Table break! I'm so sorry, sir. I can come back later. No, it's too late. The call is ruined. Goodbye, dear. What do you want? Oh, goody gumdrops. I was voted least friendly in high school, and here I am, a police captain. Do you know what Mr. Popularity Vincent Mondale is doing these days? It's a sociologist, for God's sake. Sociologist, Terry. I don't want to hear you badmouthing my replacement around the office. Do it surreptitiously. Watch this. I hear the new captain's a pill popper. They're on their way up. Everyone hide your pills. You ever want to do business again, my door is always open. Well, you should close it, lest you get moths. That's not all I dipsticked. Mr. Fit! Or shall I call you by your real name, Mr. Fib. We're getting off track here. No, we're not, dog. Peralta's just trying to play the sympathy card so we all go easy on him. I'd rather send you back to prison than see you win. No problem at all. This is important. Also, Kevin's friend Margo's here, and she's a real class A drip. OK, everyone, I have some news. The Madeline Wunsch is a Korean toilet ghost. Boring. We already knew that. Sleep, sleep, you ugly morons. What do you think these dinosaurs are talking about? Where to find Matlock reruns? <laughs> Be professional, Gina. Like the home care nurses who will tuck them into bed tonight. <laughs> what is this? Why are we meeting in the bathroom? Super cool meeting spot. <sighs> Don't. I'm taking my time and reading deliberately, and you know what they say. Slow and steady wins the race. Classic reg reader bullcrap. Yeah, what are you going to say next, that you read to relax? <laughs> <laughs> Due to the sensitive subject matter, I think it makes sense to partner Peralta with me. Because I'm the best at sex? No, Hitchcock. In fact, you know what? This isn't your week. Why don't you take a few days off? Sweet. Just that you can be a bit 
judgmental. What a stupid thing to say. FM radio. Yeah. Sergeant Jeffers has suggested that it would improve morale if we started the meeting with some consensual non-work jabber. I just said it might be nice if you checked in on the squad's personal lives every now and then. Exactly, jabber. It's gonna be hard to hear anything once I've crushed you into a fine powder. A fine powder that will choke you until you die. As one says when she sees deodorant, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Are you playing the muffin man or the garbage man? Huh? Do you know the garbage man? Because I do, because I'm looking right at him again. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Much like Sisyphus, condemned to push the same boulder up the same hill day in and day out. You know, according to French philosopher Albert Camus, Sisyphus achieved happiness in that absurd repetition. Any French philosophy post Rousseau is essentially a magazine. You rube. Well, I, for one, think you're perfect for each other. I feel like there's gonna be more. Because you're both losers. There it is. None of you stand a chance against me. No courage, no patience, no brains, and, of course, a bald old man. I'm younger than you. No come back for the bald thing, I see. Oops. We have a few more questions for you, doctor. Doctor, huh? It's funny when people call dentists doctor. We are doctors. We do four years of medical school. Now it's called dental school. But we learn about the entire body. Yeah, but if you had cancer, you can call it dentist. You know, it's actually harder to get into dental school than medical school. Well, because there are fewer dental schools. Because most people want to become actual doctors. That's ridiculous. It's not like we're college professors calling ourselves doctors. It's not the same thing, my friend. Well, sure it is. When someone has a heart attack on a plane, do they yell out, yo, does anybody here have an art history PhD? A PhD is a doctorate. It's literally describing a doctor. Maybe let's refocus. No, the problem here is that medical practitioners have co-opted the word doctor. Okay, Captain. Now, I know we live in a world where anything can mean anything, and nobody even cares about etymology. Apparently, that's a trigger for me. Yeah. How many comic buns are you holding right now? Zero. It's one bun to none, son. <laughs> Why'd you stop playing, garbage man? I need some water. What you need to do is keep practicing, garbage man. I don't have any more saliva. And I don't have any more time for your excuses, garbage man. Now play. What does that human blister want now? Does she intend to demote me even further? Or perhaps she'll transfer me to the swamps of New Jersey so I can patrol the sinkhole where she was spawned. Oh, I love cone duty. Debbie Cannon. Hi. Quick shout out to the nurses at United Pediatric. This money will do those kids a lot of good. Cry me a river, Brenda from Yonkers. We've all hit budget cuts. All right, all right, I see you. It was a good game, though, for a dumbass. Okay, you're kind of overusing that one. Maybe switch it up a little bit. Oh, good note, uh, you dick. That landed good. Why would Wunch fake her own death? The same reason she visits Mexico once a year and sucks the blood from all the goats. For kicks. Is this your new assistant? John Erblin, nice to meet you. And John Erblin has just been fired. What? I have? Meet ya. You just abbreviated a one-syllable word. Is this for real? Yes. Now, clean out your desk. I removed the K so you'd understand how absurd you sound. I bet it was the van driver. You mean the woman who was thrown violently from the vehicle and just barely survived? Yeah, I'm sure she was very badly injured. Sorry if my voice is raspy. They just took the breathing tube out. But they left a BS in? Good God. Whoa. You're a terrible father. What? You've been asleep at the wheel, man. What have you done to cultivate his incredible mind? I read to him every night. Shakespeare, Tolstoy? No, nothing that advanced. Dear God, so you're reading him Dickens? It's not like I was the only one who thought it was fake. And the Oscar goes to Rent. Wunch is dead. Bagel. 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 Sir, I am loving this color on you, but don't you think you should tone it down? Why, in case I run into a family? I'm not planning any trips to the Bronx Zoo. Cagney and Lacey's recorder concerts in an hour, and I promise that No one I'm... leaves until the Cobra is brought to justice. But they're playing uptown funk! I wouldn't care if they were playing actual music. Cheddar, you duplicitous bitch. I will never trust Madeline Wunsch. She's a venomous snake waiting to strike, and you know what we do to snakes. Chop their heads off, remove the skin, turn them into boots. Don't be absurd. Who would want troll skin boots? You just said she was a snake. The devil comes in many forms. They're not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. It's also against the rules to let a pile of worms wear a uniform, and yet here you stand. Okay. For a moment there, I almost forgot who the real villain was. The woman who recently died. Oh, Raymond, of course you have beaten me to the gym. You live life right. It's amazing. Work out your legs, Jeffrey, not your mouth. <laughs> My only question is, are you sure your old ass eyes are up to the challenge? I know you're just trying to motivate me, but these old ass eyes will be reading your tombstone, son. Oh. All right, uh, the email contains a link to a video. I'm going to play it. Brace yourselves. If it shows Madeline, be sure not to look directly into her eyes. Because we'll turn to stone? No, because her eyes are ugly. 
Hello, Raymond. Surprised to see me? Well, I didn't say Bloody Mary three times, so yes. When did she record this? Judging by the flames around her, it could be a live stream. <laughs> Very good, Rosa. <laughs>